In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable a virtual machine that's already built into Windows called Hyper-V. Hyper-V is very similar to VirtualBox of VMware, where you can run other operating systems virtually on your desktop. It's a very useful tool, and I'll show you how to get started. So before we get started, let's take a look at the system requirements. And what you're going to need is Windows version 10 Enterprise Pro or Education. Uh, you're going to have to have at least a 64-bit processor with second level address translation. You want to have CPU support for virtualization. Now, in some cases, you have to enable this in the BIOS if it's not already enabled. And lastly, you're going to need four gigs of memory. So here we are at the desktop, and by default, the feature is not enabled. So in order for us to enable the feature, what we want to do is click on Start and go to Run, or hold the Windows key and then hit the R. And inside here, we're going to type in optionalfeatures.exe. Hit OK, and it's going to pop open a window for us. Now, these are all optional features that, for Windows that are turned on and off. What we want to do is go through this list and look for Hyper-V. And as you can see, it's right here in the middle of the screen. We can click on the plus next to it and expand it. And what we want to do is we want to enable both of the features that are listed here. So the Hyper-V management tool and the Hyper-V platform. Click on OK, and it's going to enable these features. And then it's going to ask us to restart the computer. So now that's done applying the changes, we can click on the Restart Now button, and it's going to reboot Windows 10 for us, and then we're going to be logging back in. Just to note, I'm going to be using Windows 10 Professional for this example. The Windows update process does not take very long. Once it's done and rebooted, you can log back in. Okay, so my system is now restarted, and I have my login screen up here, so I'll just hit Enter, and then I'll type in my password, and then log in here. So now that we're back at our desktop, what we want to do is activate the feature by going into our control panel and uh, click on control panel. And then we want to go to administrative tools. So we have that right here. Click on it. And inside here, you have the Hyper-V manager. So you can double click on this and open it up. Now, you can also create a shortcut on, of this Hyper-V manager on your desktop just for it to be easily accessible. And here we go. So this is the Hyper-V manager. And all you have to do is select the computer that you're running. So I have my computer right here. And over on the right-hand side, we have the option to click on New. And then we can create a virtual machine by selecting Virtual Machine here. And then we have the option to go ahead and set up a virtual Windows computer or Ubuntu or some version of Linux that you can install on your Windows 10 PC. So this is an excellent option to have already built into Windows. And it's very similar to VMware and VirtualBox, except it's free and it's ready to go. You just have to activate it. Uh, I'm doing this on Windows 10 Pro version, uh, but there's other versions that you can use as well. I'll list them all in the description below. So if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments. If you want me to install any other operating systems that you're interested in using Hyper-V like I did with VirtualBox, go ahead and put that in the comments as well. If you're looking for other tutorials like this, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.